We have shocking news. We are leaving Miami. Yep, that's right. And if you're wondering where are you guys going and why, more on that after the intro. And with that said, let's talk about it. What's up, everyone? Welcome to our channel. Or if you're an original, you've been with us for a while. Welcome back. We are the Yambors. And as we mentioned, we said that we are moving. Shocking. Yeah. (laughs) We've been down here in Miami for eight eight, years. Eight years now. Eight years down in Miami. A lot of people don't last that long. Yeah. A lot of people don't, don't last that long. But we have made it work for this many years. And we're leaving on our own terms. And we're doing something... This is our next chapter in life. And what is the reason behind why we are leaving Miami? You, well, you're looking at him right here. <laughs> <laughs> and as much as we love it, um, we were ready to focus on the next chapter now that we have Jordan. And that is raising him with our family. You know, we want to be close to family and have him be able to grow up with his cousins and, you know, his grandparents and his great grandparents. That's something that's very important to us family. And so we made the decision. We made the decision. I don't think we've said where yet, though. Oh, I just said home, but some people may not even know where home is. So for those that don't know us personally and don't know exactly where home is, that is the DMV area. Ooh, D.C., Maryland, VA. Exactly. D.C., Maryland, Virginia is the area we are going back to. That's where both of our families are. That's where my side of the family is, where her side of the family is. And we want him to be surrounded by just more family. So we're moving back to the DMV area because this just makes the most sense for us. I mean, the main reason is because we want to have more support and we want him to be around more family growing Mm up, her side and my side of the family. But also like Miami, it was cool. I mean, we moved down here, what, when we were 26? I was 25. Yeah, 25 and I was 26 and it was the perfect time to move. I mean, like... We're living life without any children and just having a good time, just enjoying Miami, enjoying the vibes and everything. But now life looks a little different. Yeah, you know, we're moving on to the next chapter. And for us, when we moved here in our mid-20s, right. we took a huge leap. You know, mm-hmm. we took a leap of faith and we decided, like, we've always wanted to move out of Maryland. You mm-hmm. know, we're both born and raised there. It was something that we always wanted to do. And it was a great opportunity that we had to do that. And so much has changed and happened over the past eight years that now we're taking another leap of faith where we are moving back to the DMV area. And, you know, I know we'll t- we'll talk about that a little bit more, but, you know, that's ultimately what we're doing. You know, we're trusting God, we're trusting the process, and we're doing what's best for our family. And a lot of people that we have told, because we've only told, well, not a lot, but a few people that we've told, yeah. Because this is like our surprise coming out. If you don't know, now you know kind of story. Exactly. Um, The few people that we have told like family and things like that, a lot of them totally understood. But at the same time, they were like, you're leaving beautiful Miami. You have this gorgeous apartment. You have this. You have that. Why would you want to leave? And we thought, why not? You know, the time is right. We're, We're in a stage. We're in a season of... You know, prioritizing our family, mm-hmm. prioritizing um, what that chapter looks like. Right. And we're we're on to the next. You yeah. know, it was a beautiful we had a beautiful eight years here. We learned a lot. We've grown a lot. Exactly. And the biggest blessing that we got out of the entire eight years. Well, for one, we got married. Right. That was I mean, come on now. You and I together forever. We in this. <laughs> then we got a dog. Uh-huh. You know, we have our beautiful journey bear. And then the most amazing tiny little human who looks like me a little bit, but looks mainly like you. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> we have our beautiful baby boy. We have our beautiful baby boy. You see the resemblance? <laughs> see the resemblance? Y'all know he looked so, like me too. I know y'all see it in, in the eye. <laughs> so what you touched on was what I was going to say next. And mm-hmm. I mean, it's been an incredible eight year run. And now is really the time where we can take our victory lap and know that, you know, the next chapter is in in line of what we're going to do, but Mm -hmm. like really cherish these last eight years and how far we've come. Mm -hmm. You know, we came down here as an engaged couple, newly engaged couple, like days. Yeah, literally like a day. Yeah, I proposed proposed in Baltimore 
a day before moving down to Miami. I, I knew for sure that I wanted to make sure that Jen knew that I was committed as a as a man and as a husband to be when we moved down to Miami. And that commitment has been fulfilled. You know, I'm I'm here now fully engaged in my marriage and she knows that I'm here a hundred percent for her and I mm-hmm. wanted her to know that in twenty sixteen. And she for sure knows that now in twenty twenty four. And it's crazy. I mean, eight years have gone by, but we've stayed committed to each other. We've always enjoyed each other's company. You know, we've had good times. We've had bad times. We've had ups. We've had downs, but we've had way more ups. Mm -hmm. We have uh, gotten over, you know, significant loss. You know, I lost my my Aunt Pam when I was down here. You know, there's been some things that COVID happened, yeah, I mean, like, COVID. you know, like there's been so many events that have happened that could have derailed me and you, but we have always conquered everything and we've always just enjoyed the journey. Yeah. And that's a blessing because not many people are afforded that where, you know, they're able to weather storms, you mm-hmm. know? And so I'm very grateful, especially when it comes, when it came to the pandemic, like being in the heart of the pandemic, mm-hmm. Um, I felt like it really allowed us to grow closer to each other Mm -hmm. and we unlocked another level of our relationship and our relationship has grown in so many ways. And our son is a reflection of that. Exactly. You know, our our son is a reflection of that. Our marriage is a reflection of that. Our dog is a reflection of that. And us taking, us making the the decision. That's my fault. (laughs) I got it. Yep. And us making the decision to transition back to the DMV, that's another reflection of us just growing in our Mm -hmm. relationship and growing in our our marriage, growing in our family. And I'm really excited. You know, of course, there's there's bittersweet moments. There's things that I enjoy. Of course, the weather that we're going to miss. But there's so many things that I look forward to with, you know, Jordan growing up with his cousins, um, my great him being able to spend as much time with his great grandparents as Mm -hmm. possible because they won't be here forever. And that you know how much my grandparents mean to me. And so I want Jordan to be able to absorb and soak up as much time with him as he as he can. And so it's amazing. We look forward to being in the DMV. We look forward to starting this chapter. We look forward to. Being with family, and we look forward to changing up the scenery and doing our podcast from a new location yeah. and sharing that experience with you guys because, of course, it's a transition. Yeah, and just life in general. Yeah. You know, outside of just the podcast, I mean, we are real people. We are not just here on YouTube, if you, if you just know us from YouTube. Like, we are excited for this new transition back up to the DMV area where mm-hmm. we grew up, you know, hang out with friends and family that we have always known and loved and have seen from afar but now we'll be closer you know and um like i said and like you said it's been an incredible eight years run at the end of the day we conquered miami we did everything that we wanted to do in miami and now it's time to take it back to the roots take it back to the roots take it back to the roots and Mm -hmm. i think this is the perfect time i mean we're in our early to mid 30s Mm -hmm. well i'm about to be in my mid 30s i'm 30 about to be 34 yeah, yeah. Gotta be. I, was, I, I don't know why in my head for some reason I thought you were about to say 35 and I was like, no. Oh, no, no I ain't there yet. <laughs> but anyways, I'm, I, <laughs> you close. <laughs> but You're I close. am about to be 34 and she's about to be or she is. She just turned 33. I just turned 33. Mm-hmm. So it was an incredible time to be down here in Miami mm-hmm. living, you know, the the Miami vibes and just go, getting on boats uh, sporadically and doing things just spontaneously like. It was great time from 26 to 33 to 34. Yeah. It's been an incredible run. And now we just make this transition and we just right. really enjoy the journey. Like this is just the next chapter. And yes. we're so excited because little man is going to be able to grow up with family. Yeah. Gonna grow up with family. Being closer to family. And, and you know, it's funny. We went from hopping on boats to now hopping in a carpool. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't uh, wait to say that. Uh, you know, we was hopping on boats. Now we hopping in carpool. And that's okay, too. That's okay. Uh-huh. Um, and I know Jordan's going to look back at this 10 years from now. He's going to be like, we lived in Miami and, we, and you moved? 
We can always move back. We can That's always the thing. move but right back. Right now, the 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 focus is. Yeah. You being able to be closer to family and yeah. us having that support. Um, and exactly. I think that for us, that was one of the biggest things, too. And kudos to families out there that do, you know, make the decision to move far away and they're away from family and they're starting a, they're a, fa- a family of their own or they have small children because we're in it right now. And it's not easy mm-hmm. at all. You know, it's very difficult, especially when you realize what you have to sacrifice for right. that. You know, there's right. no that much me time or you time or us having time to ourselves or Mm -hmm. having date night or, you know, you have to be very intentional about everything. Yeah. And when you have grandma and you have aunts and uncles Mm -hmm. in the picture that can, you know, alleviate some of that burden for you. And, you know, you guys can get back to date nights and things like that. That is going to be great. I mean, great Mm -hmm. for us. Um, And the fact that we were able to make this work and it's just solely just me and you down here, like that's a testament to how strong our relationship is because it is difficult for just two people, Mm -hmm. especially like, let's say if I wasn't in the picture and it was just a single mom down here, it'd be extremely difficult. difficult. But even with just two people, a a two parent household, there's challenges um, with no family. It's still uh, a lot of challenges Mm -hmm. and not to say that it can't work. Right. um, And not to say that we, we couldn't make it work. We just felt like it was a better scenario for us it was the best decision him, yeah for for us to move on back home and him be around more family and have yeah. that support it's just it's a it's a welcome change you know yeah this is like you said we we're, we're taking our victory lap yeah. and we're going on home we had took our talents to south beach we did and now <laughs> we going back to the dmv just so. like just like lebron did <laughs> just like lebron did <laughs> he, he went, went right back to cleveland <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah with that said we just wanted to share the news with you guys we're excited we hope you guys are excited for us we're really looking forward to this next chapter and all that god has in store for us in this next chapter because the way that we're looking at it is that it can only continue to get better from here amen. of course we're going to have challenges and things like that but it can only continue to get better from here amen and i look forward to seeing how our fa- our family continues to grow yep and how he continues to grow how and- he continues to grow and we embark on this new journey because it's going to look so different from when we were back home and we were in our early 20s I dating know, you know I we know. weren't married we weren't we didn't have a kid we yeah. didn't have a dog we didn't have any of those things and so it's going to be beautiful to see what this new chapter looks like amen well said so with that said, we're going to close it out. My name is Shane. And I'm Jen. And this is The Yam Boys. And guys, remember to always find joy in the journey. Peace. Mic still rolling. <laughs> Building a happy home. Yeah. Building a happy marriage. Building a happy family. All of those things take day in and day out work. Like yes. you said, it's about those routines. It's about those habits. And building those healthy habits provides you the responsibility for you to pour into your marriage, to pour into your relationship, and to pour into yourself.